Hey there football fans, welcome back to Soccer News Center. Today we're diving into the aftermath of the highly anticipated Clasico match between Barcelona and Real Madrid. Ilke Gundogan, the Barcelona midfielder, has expressed his disappointment with the team's lack of anger and emotion after their 2-1 defeat to Real Madrid. Gundogan, who recently joined Barcelona from Manchester City, had high expectations for his teammates' reaction in the dressing room. He wanted to see more frustration, anger, and disappointment, especially after such an important game against their arch-rivals. He believes that the lack of emotion translates onto the pitch and hinders their performance. The German international emphasized the need for the team to step up their game and not allow Real Madrid or even Girona to run away with the lead. Gundogan didn't come to Barcelona to lose these types of games and wants to see more resistance from the squad. On the other side, Jude Bellingham, the match winner for Real Madrid, expressed his joy and satisfaction with his performance. The 20-year-old, who has been in exceptional form lately, scored a long-range equalizer and a dramatic winner in added time. Bellingham shared that he had watched many Clásicos from the sofa with his family, and he was thrilled to finally experience it firsthand and make a significant impact. Bellingham revealed that he knew he was going to score as soon as he got the ball on the edge of the box. He wanted to surprise the opponents by taking a shot from outside the box, showcasing his technique and accuracy. He believes that sometimes it's not about trying to do something special every time you have the ball, but rather combining well with teammates and seizing the right opportunity. Real Madrid manager Carlo Ancelotti praised Bellingham's performance and expressed his surprise at the level of effectiveness the young player has shown. Ancelotti believes that Bellingham could easily score 20 or 25 goals and commended his attitude and the difference he has made in the team. That's all for today's update on the Clasico aftermath. Stay tuned for more football news and updates right here on Soccer News Center. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.